Yes, good evening. I am Dr. Ashutosh and I am a consultant in fetal medicine. So today we are going to talk about a very interesting case, right? So many a times we see that the baby we are identifying uh, that there are some issues regarding the flows to the baby, specifically the umbilical artery, right? And um, uh, so meaning thereby that that case scenario doesn't fits into a traditional way of thinking of a utero placental insufficiency, right? And then we identify that the um, uh, the 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 blood flow in the uterine arteries is normal. The MC is normal. The baby is growing absolutely good. The amniotic fluid is normal. But then there are some issues regarding the umbilical artery flows, right? So, वो उसके क्या-क्या reasons हो सकते हैं और हम उसको कैसे deal करते हैं? ये मैं आज आपको दिखा देता हूँ. So, this is one case. So, what we are seeing is a very high umbilical artery resistance. So, we are taking it multiple times, but very high umbilical artery resistance, right? And then we are trying to evaluate other vessels like this is MCA and the uterine arteries which is normal. So the uh, so meaning there was that traditionally it is not fitting into a utero placental insufficiency because uterine arteries is normal. Then we try to see what is happening to the baby and then we see that it could be an hypocoiled umbilical artery, right? So meaning there was that we do have an coiling index, right? So uh, uh, this is what we can see that this is an hypocoiled umbilical artery so this can be cause or this could be effect also right so we do have a coiling index which we call as a AUCI and PUCI meaning thereby antenatal coiling index and postnatal after the baby is born and the coiling index in the umbilical and in the the umbilical cord right and then we try to see that what is happening to the baby so we are identifying ki the both the legs right so this is the patella ye patella hai hyper extended both legs right so what we are dealing probably is a hypotonia fetal medicine is a continuous process so baby ko baby needs continuous surveillance meaning thereby that we do the level 1 and then we do the level 2s and then uh, then we see the uh, the pregnancy at a fetal doppler which is something around 26 28 weeks so this is what we try to identify, right? So uh, many times what we've identified is this, that the isolated umbilical artery resistance is slightly on a higher side. So traditionally, how do you think about it that probably it is a utero-placental insufficiency and then the uterine arteries and then you talk about the clexanes and all those stuff, right? But uh, the reverse way around, this can also happen, right? So we can have a hypo-coiled umbilical artery. So we do have some coiling index. Coiling index mein aisa hota hai, AUCI is 0 0.02, so meaning there by 5 cm in the uh, <coughs> umbilical cord, there should be a 360 degree ka turn ek hona chahiye, which is called as an AUCI, antenatal uh, coiling index, which is 0 0.2, right? And that hypocoiled umbilical artery gives that the turgidity uh, and then it, it saves the umbilical artery you know, from the resistance, uh, from the, the pressure that comes and therefore if it is not there, there is a high resistance. Reverse around this can also happen because of the hypotonia also. Hypotonia in the fetus, right? So hypotonia can have a lot of reasons across which, which we can call it as a FADS, we can have an AMC, we can have uh, arthrogryposis, right? So uh, uh, um, uh, common aneuploidies like Down syndrome or trisomy 18 can also lead to hypotonia, right? And therefore they do have sort of an uh, not good prognosis as a matter of fact, right? Okay. So the hypocoiled umbilical artery is the could be the cause, could be the effect also. So hypotonia, just in this case, we saw that the baby's the uh, amniotic fluid is slightly on higher side, and then we have identified that the knee joint is hyperextended continuously during the process of examination. So the baby has to have uh, some sort of a flexion at every joint because the baby has to uterus, so it has to have every joint to flexion if it is extended. Hai, so meaning thereby that it is an active sort of a movement it is. So the baby has to go back to the flexed, her, her, her joint was flexed so that it can continue in the uterus. Mein usko, uh, continue kar sake, right? So what we are dealing now at the moment is a sort of a hypotonia leading to hypocoiled umbilical artery, leading to very high umbilical artery resistance and therefore the prognosis is not that great because then what we are dealing is 26 weeks and 6 days. Right, something around 840 grams to the baby and all those stuff. So question is not about the weight and all those stuff. Once the baby would be out, then probably the actual picture would be there. And then, but probably we would deal with a lot of uh, uh, sort of an uh, hypotonia can have a lot of reasons across. Chromosomal, genetic, uh, 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 periosomal, central, their peripheral, there could be a lot of reasons across which can lead to this um, flap, uh, uh, floppy baby and hypotonia leading to hypocoiled umbilical arteries and high umbilical artery resistance okay so this is like opening up a pandora box 
so uh, uh, putting the baby into surveillance uh, makes all the sense and um, uh, sort of an, uh, gives us um, uh, the the meaning thereby that probably we can we can we can we can counsel the parents we can counsel the consultant uh, what lies ahead and how do we deal with all these things okay thank you very much for your patient listening